Hey guys, welcome to the workout. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I've got a 15 minute pull up band workout completely focused on your core for you. But before we get into that, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content like this. Ready? Let's get into this workout. All right guys, so the format of today's workout is going to be Tabata style. We're doing 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds, so that's gonna take four minutes there. We'll take one minute to transition from exercise to exercise, that comes up to 15 minutes for you. We've got three exercises today that we're gonna be doing. Starting with a standing resistance band plank, you're gonna want a band that's about 50 to 70 pounds of resistance if you're just getting started, maybe even a little bit lighter than that, or up to 100 pounds if your core is pretty strong and you have a good idea of how to organize your spine. The second exercise we're gonna be doing is a pal-off rotation. On this one, I would use somewhere again in that 50 to 70 pound range if you're a little more advanced or a little bit lower in the 25 to 50 range if you're just beginning out with these. On this one, we'll alternate sides every 20 second interval. So we're gonna be jumping back and forth. So you get four rounds on each side for the pal-off rotation. And finally, we're gonna finish out with glute bridge pull downs. So this one, once again, I would use somewhere in that 50 to 75 pound band range, unless you need something a little bit lighter if you're just starting out so you can get the band all the way pulled into the hips at the bottom position on this. I'll be doing this one right along with you guys, so follow along. Let's get into it. Here we go. Let's get set. So what I want to do is place my forearms in the band. I'm going to roll those shoulder blades down and back. I want to squeeze my butt as tight as I can, and from there I'm pulling straight down and in. I want to pull down and apart at the same time, so I'm trying to make a triangle out of that band. Now it might sound like I'm shaking quite a bit already, and I will be. Keeping my arms as straight as possible. Three more seconds. All right, relax. Don't go too far. These are gonna move really quickly here. <laughs> Driving the butt in, keeping the stomach tight, pulling my ribs down toward my pelvis. Driving down, pushing that band hard, pulling it apart. I want to see if I can keep it at about chest height each time. These are going to start to add up real quick. Ready? Three rounds down, five to go. I like to keep a fist on these while I'm making that pull down. I'm gonna feel that upper back working real hard, triceps engaging, trying to keep those arms as straight as possible. Halfway. Ready, and go. Keep driving those hips forward from the glutes. Pulling those ribs down tight. Keeping those shoulders down and back. I wanna make sure I'm not rounding into it. My chest shouldn't cave at all in that. Temperature should be rising already. Core temp should be warm. Two rounds left.
10 seconds. Keep holding tight. One last round. Ready? Should feel like you have a nice straight line, still pulling from those shoulders down and back. Band opening, driving down. Five seconds. Whew, all right. So we have a minute rest in between here. We're transitioning to that pal off rotation. And you see you got me falling again More times than I can get out oh, yeah. Down in the deep of my mind I cry for you and you're always inside Down in the deep of my mind How long do I go to keep you, to keep you? Down in the deep of my mind I cry for you and you're always All right guys, for your pal off rotation, you're gonna want the band anchored about shoulder height when you're in a half kneeling position, and that's where we're gonna be working from. Ready? Same thing, here we go. Arms extended, I'm rotating in toward the rack. Shoulder blades on my back, but as tight as possible. The rotation, just a small, 30 degree, 45 degree turn in. Really working those obliques. Remember, we're switching sides each time here. Here we go. My close hand holds the grip closest to the bar. My free hand caps it. So whatever hand's inside, that's controlling the band here. Once again, set the glutes first. Pull those ribs toward the pelvis. My feet are anchored with three points of contact from that front foot. So my first metatarsal, my fifth metatarsal, and then my heel. My back leg, I've got those small toes down. Halfway point. Goal is to disassociate my shoulders from my hips. So my bridge here is those obliques. Two rounds, one more each side. You got this. Whew. 
Last one. Stay strong. Should be feeling those glutes, those obliques. All right guys, and for our last one, we're doing that glute bridge pull down. Working from the back, band anchored, just overhead again. You're gonna have to find that distance that works well for the resistance that you need here. Ready? Here we go. Put those hands in the band, bridge up, pull to the hips. Shoulder blades down and back the whole time. Band pulling apart as well as down. Keep pulling those shoulder blades together into the bend, into the mat there. Chest puffed out. Feet close to the glutes, driving up. Should feel all glutes really here, holding your hips off that floor. Knees are pulling wide, hips are up, triceps are on fire. If at any point the pulls get to be too much, hold the band isometric right over the chest where you have tension. Don't go far, this is moving quick again. Keep those abs tight, ribs pulling toward the pelvis, pelvis driving up toward the ceiling. Shoulders should be getting involved, we're halfway. Keep the neck relaxed, try not to get tension in those traps, upper traps. Three rounds, we got this. Two rounds. Mercy. Keep those hips up. One last round. Finish out strong. And go. Oh. 
All right, great job, guys. He should be sweating, maybe breathing a little bit heavy at this point as well. And that should have been challenging for you no matter what level you were at, beginner all the way to advanced. It just depends on that resistance of the band that you're using and your focus on the form and technique in those movements. If you guys like this workout, make sure you let me know by clicking that button down below. Share this one with a friend, challenge them to it, see how they do. And leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about those exercises or if you have any questions, period, about health and fitness that I can answer for you. I'd love to take care of those. If you guys haven't already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button. I put out a new video every Thursday each week. So don't miss that. Hit that little bell notification so you know when it comes out as well. And if you guys want some exercise or workouts tailored specifically to you, nutrition, mobility, make sure you take a moment and stop by the website, fill out the coaching inquiry, or hit me up for that free hour and we'll spend one hour focused just on you. All right guys, until next time, have a good one.